So happy Friday, y'all. I've been resting today because I was up kind of late last night doing reading. So, yep, I was doing my thing. And um, I decided to um, come here since I bought me some new cards. I wanted to play with my cards or whatever and do a general singles reading, okay, for those who may be in inquiring about their love lives and what's to come for uh, the, their future. And so my first spread I got was, um, how did this come out? I, I had the, uh, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, um, the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Hermit, the Judgment, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. What else did I get? The Two and the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. So this is looking like some of y'all really had a hard time in y'all love lives <laughs> within the past or the recent past trying to date or, um, you know, open up to lovers and stuff like that only to find out that these people were not who they were pretending to be some of y'all could have had people coming in pretending like they wanted a solid offer you know um offering things that they couldn't hold the standard to you know being a little unrealistic trying to act like the knight in shining armor or trying to act like the perfect per per perfect princess and then you allow yourself to open up to them only to find yourself back single again so if that's the case, what I'm looking at is for some of y'all, for the near future, you got the Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Magician, the Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles. So what I get out of this is that some of you guys have really just dropped all of your past baggage, and you are definitely walking into uh, 2021 with a clean sleigh. You're leaving the past behind, you know, you just, you're cleansing out your energy, you're not holding on to all the stuff you've been through in your past with the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, a lot of y'all have no interest in going back to take any, to dealing with any exes and anything from your past, okay? With the High Priestess, I think a lot of you guys have learned a lot of lessons, um, from past dating and relationships, okay? So, if this is resonating with you, this could definitely be something helpful, from help, some helpful insight. And so with the Empress and the Emperor, some of you guys are manifesting by walking in a new beginning and letting go of all of that old energy. Some of you guys are going to manifest your match, your energetic match. This is what I'm seeing uh, with the Magician. By letting go of old energy and you start to manifest what it is that you really want into your life. A lot of people don't realize that when you hold on to old old baggage, old relationships, old memories, old thoughts, you st steadily thinking about the person holding on to um, pictures and gifts and the, anything to remind you of this person, of these people, or this person. You block yourself from manifesting what you really want. <laughs> people don't realize that your thoughts and your vibrations send messages to the universe. So if the universe is trying to send you something and you steadily got all this other stuff in your way. You blocking the stuff from coming in, so the universe, you know, ain't can't is not. The universe is only going to do what it is that you're manifesting. So if you manifesting something new, you sending the universe mixed set signals and mixed messages. If you still holding on to stuff that you shouldn't, because now you're blocking that from coming in. And in your mind, you're like, well, I can't find nobody. Why every time I get into a relationship, it's always this, it's always that. I can't, you know, you in this three of swords energy. And this heart, st steadily walking around with this heartbreaking energy, um, steadily walking around here with this Ten of Wands energy, not realizing that it's time to let this stuff go. You know, some of y'all just hold on to stuff way too long and you just mess it up for yourself when you do that. And so now I got the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is telling me that there may be a lot of people or somebody from some of you guys' recent past that's going to try to come back. Some You're going to get an ex that's going to try to come back. And a lot of y'all are going to reject that. You're going to reject that. You're not going to allow this ex to come back in at all. Y'all getting ready to really be um, manifesting y'all, 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 you know, just working on your finances and stuff like that. And uh, while y'all doing that, y'all letting all this other stuff go. You know, you're tired of the rejection. You're tired of, 
You know what I'm saying? People getting you involved in entanglements. You're tired of people lying. You know, you're tired of dealing with people that's still holding on to old relationships, old baggages. You know, you just, you, some of y'all are just tired of that. And so a lot of y'all have released a lot of that and y'all are going in a whole different direction and you're not looking back. You know, the best way to get over something is to get that energy off of you and don't look back. Um, the last reading I did last night, I was telling a young lady that, you know, she definitely needed a spiritual bath because she was holding on to some reckless energy um, within her love life, you know. And when we do that, this prevents us from moving on, finding what we really need or allowing the universe to send us what we really need. Okay, so... Um, Again, the emperor and the empress did come out. You see, y'all see that onk right there? Ah, ah, there it is. Okay, um, so some of y'all are going to meet y'all energetic match, and some of y'all might meet this person doing some work with them. Y'all might end up, um, you know, on a, a business venture together, working together somehow. Somebody may be coming along to um, help some of y'all with y'all businesses with this high priestess. Here or you know could be somebody that y'all end up confiding in somebody come in you know end up as a friend and then y'all end up you know eventually dating something like that so all right so give me some more messages guys of the cosmos sacred ancestors I'm calling in the quantum energy future love lives what's the future for some people in their love lives for love what is it what can people, what some of us expect for our love lives? What a universe. What are some of the messages that people can expect for their love lives? And I tell people the key to calling in love to yourself is self-love. Whatever you call in is going to be a reflection of how you feel about yourself. Everything is a reflection. Okay, yeah, so y'all got the um, nine of wands. Okay, so a lot of you guys are really going to be... Um, Getting past whatever problems you have had in past relationships. Y'all are not going to continue to keep going through that. You're going to push through that. Some of y'all might need some time to yourselves to heal. To be single for a while. You know, and not even focus and concentrate on relationships. Um, I got the whale here as the overall energy. Okay, so y'all have to be careful what you're thinking about. Because what you're thinking about is what you're going to be wishing for unknowingly. And you're going to bring that to yourself. Okay? So, with this Nine of Wands, y'all got to be careful that you don't allow yourself to dwell in the past about anything. Let it go. It's time to let it go and move on. Okay? Let's see. Any more messages? Any more messages for... Okay. Boom. All right. Nah. All right. So, some of y'all definitely... um. Got a bright love future coming in. Some of y'all got a very, very bright love future coming in. Okay, and this may not even, this may not be easy. It ain't nothing going to be easy. Because some, for some people, it's definitely difficult to let go of things in their past. Okay, um, I don't know why that's the hardest thing in the world, but it is. Okay, because a lot of you guys, before you get to that Ten of Pentacles, you are, ooh, look at that. Look at this. Look at the ooh, look at that. A lot of y'all are gonna really be battling with y'all past. Y'all gonna have an ex. Some of y'all gonna have some exes coming back, and it's gonna be hard for y'all to turn that down or stay away from these exes. Some of these exes is gonna come back and try to fight for y'all. Okay, and this may put you guys in an energy to where you start delaying yourself from getting to that um, ten of swords. Some of y'all are really gonna be confused. You know, about what y'all should do. Stuck in old emotions and stuff like that. Um, causing delays from moving on. Some of y'all, it's going to be hard for y'all to move on. You know, because some of these exes may even come back crying. And begging for y'all to take them back. You know, and um, putting in a lot of action. A lot of work. A lot of movement. Like they're coming in to really fight for you guys. But I'm telling you right now. these Some of these people have not changed. It's going to be the same ending that it was before. If you've been with somebody in the past and every time you get with them, it ends up, you know, falling apart. It's, nothing is going to change for a lot of y'all. It's going to be the same story over and over again. So a lot of y'all need to work on strengthening yourselves emotionally and mentally. Because with the Six of Swords in reverse, 
Um, some of y'all are going to have a struggle turning down past exes when they come back. Okay, these exes are going to come back and put on the biggest show. Oh, baby, I love you. I'm sorry. I know I was wrong. I know I regret losing you. You was the best thing I ever had. I, I can't let you go. I can't live without you. You you uh, you know, I've let all that. Other, I ain't with nobody. I only want. I'm telling you right now. It's up to you whether what you do, but um, I wouldn't fall for the hype. I just wouldn't fall for it. You know, don't wait until I walk away and don't want to be with you no more to want to act like now you want to come in and fight for this. Because you had time to put the action in ten times before, okay, and, and you didn't. You know, you didn't fight. You didn't fight to keep this together. So now that I, ain't, I don't want it no more, now you want to come back and, and, and play with my mind and play with my emotions. Y'all don't fall for it, I'm telling you. It ain't going to be what you think. Some of y'all going to mess around and block yourselves from what y'all really want from this Ten of Pentacles um, energy. You know, y'all going to block yourselves if you go back messing around with these people from y'all past. If you couldn't get it right the last six times, I ain't about to sit here and waste no more time and energy with you, okay? Um, all this past stuff right here. All this past stuff right here. Am I doing it? Yeah, all of it. All, uh, uh, uh. Who want to keep going through this? Who who wants to keep going through this? Look at that. Who want to keep going through that? Being haunted by negative emotions. Who? Because you're trying to trust and believe in somebody that ain't doing nothing but feeding you false promises. No. So, hey, what y'all do is up to you. But here, I'm just giving the message. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to relay a message, okay? And I'm going to do um, just a small clarity. Um, okay, so what is this uh, energy of the uh, Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Because we know the Three of Wands is about a new beginning. And so that's about um, walking away from anything old. Okay, so this, this Seven of Pentacles in reverse um, is talking about walking away from past... Um, you know, emotional and mental conflicts dealing with relationships. Again, it's about walking away from that and um, starting something new, manifesting something new with this Queen of Wands here. Yeah, so some of y'all definitely need to just um, stay out of this Five of Swords energy and move on from that. Okay, move on from that. Okay, and the Six of Cups in reverse. What is the energy and the messages of the... Six of Cups in reverse, Gods of the Cosmos, Sick Holy Ancestors, calling in a quantum energy. What is the messages? Okay, look at that. These exes, if you all get some exes coming back, they're not going to be, they're, they're not bringing in this good energy. Okay, they're not getting ready to mean y'all no damn good. Let it go. Let it go. Much as y'all want to convince yourselves and lie to yourselves that this was y'all meant to be, no. Let it go. Six of Cups in reverse. Let, let it go. Let it go. You know, just, just let let it go. It's not even worth going back to test and, and see exactly what you already know what's going to happen. This person is not changing. These people are going to do what they're going to been doing. All right? Don't let people think that when you go into the so-called new year that that's supposed to change people. Uh, times and dates don't change people. People change themselves. And we can sit here and lie all day long. If y'all take these some of these exes back, it ain't going to do nothing but end raggedy. And y'all going to mess around and miss out on the person that's really for you with this emperor and empress energy. Messing around with some raggedy stuff from your foot with an old, from old raggedy stuff from your past. Energy and the messages of the high priestess. These is too much. I'm going to still see what it all say. Yeah, see, some of y'all know. Some of y'all already know, and some of y'all are still going to try anyway. Y'all going to walk back to some of these exes knowing with the Six of Wands. Y'all y'all going to walk back already knowing, okay, um, with this, with this. Y'all already going to be knowing this ain't going to work. But you're going to go back anyway because you stuck. Some of y'all are stuck. Some of y'all are not healing. Some of y'all are refusing to heal. And then y'all trying to cut these people off, but you're doing the bare minimum to keep this, to, to cut all of this out of your life. Some of y'all are going to go back to these exes, and it ain't going to do nothing but end right in disaster. It ain't going to do nothing but end right in damn disaster. You're going to end up cutting this person off all over again. It's going to be a bunch of damn chaos. 
This person is still. Then some of y'all, they might even try to wheel y'all in by giving y'all gifts, giving your money. But guess what? They still going to do the same old thing they've been doing. They're not going to put no work and effort into this. So some of y'all are going to literally waste your time trying to go back to these exes and, and going to end up right back in the same boat that y'all have repeated the same cycles 50 million thousand times because you refuse to move forward in your life. You refuse to leave all this stuff in the past, leave it all behind. And some of y'all are tired. Some of y'all are tired of, of, of repeating these same, these same cycles, but y'all weak. Y'all weak emotionally. Y'all weak mentally. Y'all let this stuff break y'all down already knowing. Some of y'all already know. I'm, I'm clarifying the high priestess. So the moon holds secrets. This can also mean intuition. So with it coming up with the high priestess card, y'all already know this shit ain't going to work. And you're going to be crazy enough to go back any damn way because you ain't, because some of y'all are not really, y'all are y'all not done with the drama. Y'all ain't done with the drama. Y'all, y'all rather sit around and be the dead horse. You're not done with the drama. Okay. Um, the Empress. This is the energy and the messages for the Empress. Uh, to the cosmos, sacred holy ancestors, calling in the quantum energy and the messages by the power of the universe. What is the energy and the messages of the Empress? Okay, look at that. So, on the other end, some of y'all are going to take heed and stay single and work on yourselves. Y'all going to work on yourselves. A lot of y'all going to work on becoming mentally and emotionally stable. You know, a lot of y'all going to just say forget it and throw yourselves into work. You know, throw yourselves into your hobbies or something like that. You're going to find something else to do with your time. And y'all, some of y'all going to just really walk away from your past. You're going to walk away from the drama. You know, you're going to work on beautifying yourself energetically. You ain't going to worry about all of that. Okay, so some of y'all that's going to be in your em empress energy, y'all are going to do the, the work. Y'all going to work on yourselves with this hermit. All right. So now, emperor, what are the energy and the messages? I hate when this happens. Ooh, I hate when this happens because when I start asking the, the quantum energy to send me messages, dang, sometimes they send me too much stuff. Okay, you got to do all that. Just give me just a little. All right, okay. So some of y'all that's taking the time out to do your own inner self, to work on y'all and let go of that past, um, some of y'all are going to call in again to end y'all energetic match. And this is more than likely looking like this is going to be y'all soulmate. Look at that. Now y'all y'all see me doing this. Y'all know I can't make this stuff up. So some of y'all are really going to listen and do what y'all are being told to do. Intuitively. And when you listen to your intuition, you're listening to the universe. And when y'all listen to the universe, y'all are listening to the gods. Or, or whatever you call God. Because the, the universe is God. The planets are gods. Because, you know, they control. We don't control quantum energy. We can't. Okay, we have nothing to look at that. Ooh, look at that. Y'all that are really, really, really being obedient to your ancestors, your intuition, your higher selves, the um, the energy of the universe, y'all are going to fare well in the end of this. Y'all are definitely going to um, manifest what it is y'all really want. Okay, y'all, y'all put in, y'all gonna be putting in the work on yourselves, those that's working on yourselves. Working on y'all emotions, y'all mind frame, the way that you think, changing old habits, just a lot of things that was causing you to settle for a lot of the past things that you went for. Y'all changing that. So those that are making the transfer, proper transformations, you know, that's really making the right choices to work on y'all inner selves and stuff like that. Y'all are definitely, um, you know. Looking at y'all selves, what I need to work on, y'all work on the attitude, work on my mentality, work on my, you know, my eating habits, work on my body. Y'all, y'all sitting back looking at y'all selves, a lot of y'all, y'all looking at y'all selves. And those of you who are doing that, y'all will be rewarded. Okay. You have a good outlook coming towards you when you continue to just walk away from things in your past. But those of y'all that's, um, still in this energy. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Y'all gonna keep getting what y'all get. But some of y'all gonna have somebody coming in um, that's gonna definitely be holding on to y'all. And it's just gonna be somebody that you've been waiting on. It's gonna be it's gonna be somebody y'all really been waiting on. 
All right, so let's see. Uh, the magician. No, no, no. Yeah, the magician. Uh, what is the energy and the messages of the magician? Give me the energy and the messages of the magician. Mm -hmm. Look at that. When you do what you're told to do, good things come to those who wait. So those of you guys that's taking the initiative to walk away from the past and let it go and move forward, whatever it is that your heart so desires, you're going to call it in. You're going to call it in. You're going to call it in. So be prepared. Be prepared to call that in. Whatever it is. Only you all know that. Okay. This is the energy and the messages of... Tower and then the messages of the tower. I just seen okay. I was say I know I just seen something flip. Boom. Okay, let's see what this is. Look at that. Yep, some of y'all gonna go back to that past, and this is what you gonna get. The same thing you've been getting. Somebody that's gonna be lying, they're gonna end up lying. The same old cheating they've been doing, they're gonna end up cheating. The same old, you know what I'm saying, sneaky stuff they've been doing. They're going to continue to be sneaky. Okay? And it's not going to work. It's going <clears> to... <throat> same old ending. Same old, same old. Like my, my cousin got a song. Same old, same old. Different hustle, different clothes. Okay? <laughs> Shout out to my cousin, uh, Dash, uh, E-Dash. You know, uh, some of y'all going to do the same old, same old dumb stuff. And go right back and get the same old results. Okay, again, you got the uh, the six of cups in reverse, the tower, and the strength card. Some of y'all are not going to be strong enough to walk away from y'all past. And this is what you're going to get. What you see, what you see, is what you get. It's what you get. This is what you've been getting. You're going to get what you've been getting. On the other end, those who listen and follow directions, going to get what they really want. Okay, I don't know how much more clarity I even need to have on this because I think this is pretty much said and done. I don't even need to go any further on that. I'm going to give out some affirmations and leave it here because ain't nothing else to clarify. It is what it is. Either you're going to move on, get what you really want and deserve, or you're going to start, or you're going to slide back to them old habits, old ways, old relationships, and you're going to get what you be, what you keep getting. You're going to keep getting what you've been getting. Any positive affirmations for those that is inquiring about their future love life? And I'm going to tell you all something. When people get readings, these readings don't tell you what you want to hear. A lot of times people, you know, feel some type of way when they don't get what they want or, or get, hear what they want to hear. This ain't what this is. You know, I don't, people ain't finna pay me to tell, I don't, you don't pay me to tell me, tell you what you want to hear, you know, and if it's something that's not resonating sometimes, and sometimes it's because it's not what the person is, 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 is prepared to hear. It could be something that hadn't even, hasn't even taken place yet, you know, but, you know, and the sad thing is a lot of times people don't like hearing things about themselves. Well, guess what? Don't come to me. Because I'm not getting ready to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what the energy says. And I don't control the energy. All I'm here to do is deliver the message of the energy. If you ask me some questions and it's something you don't want to hear, then you need to take that up with the universe. Don't try to, oh, well, no, 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 no. I'm looking at what I see. I know what I see. I know exactly what I see. And these cards only paint a picture of the energy. It don't have nothing to do with the card itself. You know, people don't, what I got for my love life, it says to work on yourself. People don't want to hear that. Well, that, that's all it says. Well, that's what's in your energy. Is, am I going to keep hearing this about, well, that's what's in your, you, this is what you're thinking about. This is what you're concentrating on. This is your vibration I'm reading. So if you keep hearing the same messages over and over again, then that's something you have to go change. With things. If you want something in your life to change, change your energy. Because if you come to somebody that's an intuitive reader, that's you asking them to read your energy and tell them what's in it and whatever it is that's in your energy is what they're going to tell you and if it's the same thing over and over again then you need to step back and think about what the hell am i thinking about majority of the time what's on my mind 80 percent 90 percent of the time because whatever that is that's what's going to come out in your reading and if you ask me about your future if what you're doing is toxic your the the, the, the energy is going to tell me to tell you you need to work on you 
The universe is not going to send you what you need, what, what, what you really want while your ass is a mess. And people need to understand that. If you don't want to hear the truth about yourself, please do not ask me for a reading. Okay, because what's going to happen is something is going to be exposed that you don't want exposed. So don't ask me for a reading if you're not ready to accept the naked truth. I don't read to entertain people. I read because people really are looking for guidance. People are really looking for insight. People are looking for clarity. This is what I do. This is what I offer. And I'm not going to waste my time with people who don't want to hear what, what the hell their own energy is saying. Or uh, they don't want to hear whatever messages that the universe has for them. Do not ask me for a reading if you one of those people that's coming because you want me to confirm something you want to hear. Because this does not work like that. This does not work that way. I can't speak for no other reader. I'm only going to tell you what I do. I am an intuitive reader. Okay, I'm not going to read the card and tell you what the formal message of the card is. I could look at this card and this card can say 50 different things to me in 50 different, three, four, five different readings. So this is this card is not going to mean the same thing in every reading based on the person's energy. Okay, so, you know, people don't want to hear. They want to hear what they want to hear. Oh, you got a knight in shining armor coming. Well, I'm not getting ready to lie because your reading is not saying that. Your reading is saying you need to heal this situation over here. And that's all that I have for you. It's not saying that you have love coming into your life right now. It's not saying that you have anything solid right now. It's saying you need to do some shadow work. So guess what? If you want somebody to lie, go pay somebody else to, that's going to lie to you that does this for entertainment. I don't do this for entertainment. Yes, it's fun because, you know, I'm learning how to use energy in a different way. But at the same time, I take this serious. If you come to me and ask me for clarity, I'm going to tell you what I need, what, what needs to be said. So if you can't handle the truth, don't inbox me asking me for a reading because I'm going to give you what you need to hear. I'm not going to give you what you want. So the positive affirmations that I have for those that's seeking um, a futuristic love life is go with the flow, meditation for creativity, uh, prayers and wishes, transformation and change, meditation for peace and serenity, and fire magic. Okay, so this says to me, it definitely stands out to me, uh, going with the flow, you know, so going with the flow, you move right along, moving right along, you know, you don't float in a boat and go backwards, you float in a boat and you go forward. And so to me, this stands out as telling many of you that's really looking for um, a solid future in your love life to keep going forward. Keep going forward. Stop looking at the past. Stop looking back at the past. This woman is in this dang on canoe. She ain't looking at no past. She's enjoying the, the, the nature of the water flow. She got a hand in the water. She meditating. She's getting in tune with nature. You know, she is, is, is thinking about the future. She thinking about nothing in her past. This woman is looking forward to a new adventure. She's going with the flow. So this is the message that I'm getting from, from this for a lot of you guys. Meditation for creativity. So again, a lot of you guys are, um, you know, going to throw yourselves into work. Going to throw yourselves into a lot of your hobbies and stuff like that. And that's going to be very productive for you. Because some of y'all may have hobbies that you might end up finding out can be lucrative. But, you know, you have to, st you have to stay and, and, and stay focused in your meditation mood. You see how she's just into the flow. Okay, so a lot of y'all are going to start making magic, you know, making magic with your creativity. You know what I'm saying? So throw yourselves into, you know, something positive. Learning something new, you know what I'm saying? Instead of thinking about, you know, it's more to life than relationships, okay? Meditation for creativity, um, prayers and wishes, okay? Prayers to me are nothing more than manifestations, okay? You, you speak with the uh, gift of tongue. You use the, um, the, the tongue of, of speaking into existence, okay? So some of you guys are going to start um, speaking things into existence. A lot of the things that you're going to be... Uh, that, that you're going to be manifested again. This came out in the reading with the magician. Um, a lot of you guys that's walking away from your past baggages and toxic energies and relationships and not looking back. Whatever it is that you've been desiring and wishing for and, and manifesting, and you're going to get it. It's going to come through for you. Okay, and then you have transformation and change again. Y'all, I'm not, y'all see, I'm not making this up. 
Y'all saw me deal these cards. You saw the cards fall where they fail. So, again, you have transformation and change. A lot of you guys need to work on your sales. This man is uh, walking by himself. He walking by himself. He don't have an entourage with him. He may have his little animals with him, but so. Okay, but he's walking his, he's on his journey. He's on his journey. He's, he's finding his path. He's finding his way. You know what I'm saying? He's feeling his way through this thing. And then he has this, um, this broom with him. And I see the broom as, you know, sometimes we, uh, intuition. We may not always literally see something, but we feel our way through things. Even when we can't see it, what it is. Okay, so some of y'all really, really may not know what the hell you got may not know what the future holds if you let go something from your past. But this is where intuition kicks in at. Use your intuition and feel your way through it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Okay. And then you have meditation for peace and serenity. Some of y'all need spiritual baths because some of y'all are not in peace, at peace with yourselves. Y'all not at peace with your own energies. And you wonder why you can't call in anything peaceful because you're not even at peace. You don't even have serenity in your life. You're trying to call in something that you don't even possess. Now, how is it that if you don't have peace, you want something peaceful to come into your life when you know you can't reciprocate it because you don't even have it? So this is why it's saying even in the reading that some of y'all that's going to take the opportunity to be single. And, and, and go inside of yourselves and heal whatever needs to be healed within yourself and get the strength to continue to keep pushing forward and going with the flow and, and, and trust this new beginning and go towards it anyway and do what needs to be done to make sure you stay on the right track. This is what this is saying to me. Okay. Uh, meditation for peace and serenity. Staying away from this kind of energy. Okay. Some of y'all can't help it. Some of y'all are so addicted to drama. Some of y'all are addicted to drama. Some of y'all have become comfortable being miserable. All on, in the name of, of inflamed with, with passion. Okay? Inflamed with passion. But then some of y'all end up with people that's sharing y'all. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know? Now, if you're one of those people that want something solid, then you got to do the work. Or you're going to continue to keep ending up with the same type of people. Clean out your own energy, your own mind, your own thoughts, your own vibrations, your own intentions. Clear, clean that stuff out. Clean it out. And, and, and just doing this, this is not about um, just the act of sitting in this position and holding your that That has no power. This sitting position has no power. Okay? The power is in you and your connection to the universe. Do you have a relationship with the universe is the question. Because either you do or you don't. If you got to think about it, then that means you don't have a relationship with the universe. That means that you don't receive the messages that you're supposed to receive from the universe. And this is what keeps you going back to that old past energy. This is what keeps you in this energy right here. Hurt, sad, depressed, trying to figure out why your life is the way that it is because you ain't listening. Because you're not listening. You don't want to see what's wrong with you. You only want to see what's wrong with the people that you keep manifesting into your life. But you know what? You can't manifest what you don't possess within yourself to yourself. So if you're manifesting drama and negativity to yourself, then you need to go inside yourself and figure out huh, what that energy is. What it is. And heal it. Right? And then you have fire magic. Some of y'all are powerful as hell. Some of y'all are powerful as hell, and some of y'all are going to manifest that damn power. Some of y'all are manifestors. This is what y'all do. And y'all are going to be the ones that's going to be strong enough to stay away from your past and bring magic into your life. Some of y'all are going to be able to do that. Some of y'all are going to have enough strength. With this, um, with this strength card in reverse, I'm going to put it up right. Some of y'all are going to get into you all power. Okay, and get and bring that Leo energy out. Okay, like I am the monarch of the sea. <laughs> Some of y'all really not about to be playing. Y'all really, really do want what's best for you, and some of y'all are gonna walk in that power, and y'all gonna make magic and manifest that magic to yourselves. Y'all really are. So anyway, that's what I got for my general love reading. Anybody want to read, y'all can inbox me. My prices are changing. I did run a special for um, the whole month of December. Um, but I now am about to put a time stamp 
on the general readings. Uh, I will not be doing general readings for two hours, three hours, and all of that is not going to happen like that because now it's more entailed when I go that long. All right, so anybody interested, hit me up. I don't do free readings. If somebody come into my inbox and you're not serious, I'll, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm, I don't have time, you know. Either you want this or you don't. All right, peace.